Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This FTG Strategist is brought to you by Chuck Wagon MTG. Let's do a little quick draft. This isn't especially my forte, but I'm looking to get better at it, so. Oh. Slimefoot. Eviscerate. I think. Hmm. Slimefoot's a boss. I gotta take Slimefoot. Yeah. Nice to take both of those, but we'll start with Slimefoot. Well, and. I really want to take Eviscerate. But fungal Plots might be the way to go. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take Eviscerate. I need some removal. i got to keep that in mind. No, it's, you know. Oh, that's going to be a bear. Right, I think we get Fungal Plots here. Um, lingering Phantom. Mm. Uh, let's go with let's keep the uh, Sapperlings coming, right? Um. I guess this counts as removal. Let's get let's hate draft that one. Uh, maybe the flyer. More removal. Yeah. yeah. Let's kill a flyer. Recovery. All right. That is a good. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Removal, maybe. Sapperlings. Oh, Moldrotha? Yeah. That's an easy pick. Even if we go into blue a little bit, I think it's worth it. How about you to protect our forces? A Sapperling, immigration, a barrel abomination or pandemic wonder. This is probably going to be very useful, but I think uh, yeah, it counts as a creature and removal maybe. Yeah. 
Um, that's removal. I really like you. Yeah. It's got their hand. Uh, even out if we. Yeah. All right. Now we have so many die fest. Um, Yeah, one more. That type of removal is good. Eviscerate. Who's that? Oh, that's kind of cool too. Hmm. Removal. I'm gonna go with another nest flyer. Um, how about Nargle? Nargle. Um, how about you? You? Um, You. Uh, I'm gonna go with you. Um, I think you're the man. I'm just gonna be divesting the heck out of some. Let's get rid of red real quick. Let's ditch blue. All right. So we have to ditch 13 more. I have way too many divest. This, I think this might be okay since we're playing three colors. Oh, lots. Here's the sky, sapling migration. So let's play. I really want to play Moldrata. Oh, mother. Thermal Abomination. I think we can get rid of them. You. And more. Put down one, two, eight more. Um, I mean, we have a significant amount of legendary creatures. Really should get rid of Navigator's Compass, but I'm gonna go down one. We can lose these two guys. We're down to 12 creatures. We gotta lose four. Six, six. Yeah. See, this is tricky without a sideboard, you know. It's uh, you would sideboard in things like Pierce the Sky and Broken Bond, so you kind of have to think about what you would play, kind of overarchingly. Um, I think 
We will have to get rid of them. I think we have enough bombs to go high. Two more. We're staying on the sapperling kick. Uh, Joy is familiar. Uh, hmm. Hard to wonder. Alright. We'll name this saps and stuff. Alright. I mean, like I said, this isn't my my thing especially, but I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to get better. We got some removal, we got creatures, we got wind conditions. I think this is an okay okay beginning. We'll see. You can tell me how bad it was. You know that you, I if you dilute the idea of the deck. Uh, okay. Well, we have some stuff to play. Oh, we'll drop those a, quite a ways out. There goes Moldrata. Or Slimefoot, probably. Oh, no. Maybe on the battlefield, that's good. At least we can start making tokens. Well, if he survives, so. I think here we just um, I'm gonna keep her safe. And we can pop out a sapling whenever we need a blocker. And we have it. Can we just play the long game with Slimefoot, maybe? Oh. Okay, and we can kill that thing. Yeah. Worth it. That's an excessive kill. Okay. Kick it. I'm gonna hold off on attacks. I think we'll eviscerate. Yeah, if we get another land, this guy's coming out. Then we'll start chomping away at him. So, I mean, even if they kill my slime foot, I still have win conditions. So, yeah. So we can and we can what do we want to kill? I think we kill the golem and then swing in with all the sapperlings. Yeah. 
just keep pumping out saverlings and this thorn elemental. I don't know, getting, okay. Let's go for land. Hopefully, we'll get another. So, Muldrotha. So, we can exile Muldrotha if we want to. I wouldn't call this the best crafted deck I've ever made. But, you know, it's working. We're going to kick it. Just keep kicking out saplings. I mean, the... The, um... Oh, you know what? They probably have a Teferi in there somewhere. Or a Karn, maybe. And we'll end combat there. And we're working them down. Slime puts a beast. We got this historic thing going on. To ferry, no, the to ferry. Coming in. This is... I think we'll kill it. We have like infinite. <laughs> With a uh, slime foot, we have infinite saplings. Land. Let's get Thorn Elemental out there. Um, Knock him down. Couldn't have asked for a better curve on this, by the way. Just uh, attack in. I think this is unavoidable or inevitable. All right, we're off and running. Now, now let's see what happens when when it doesn't come out quite so well. <laughs> Alright, game two. No commentary, we're just going to burn through this. So, yeah, let's just see what happens because. Wow, all three colors. I think we can play with this. It's actually really amazing. We got all three colors. Ew. Play an artifact or an enchantment. It's the only time this is really good. Behold, patience will be patient. There's a Muldrotha. If 
Thir Muljatha. So we need the ballot omnivore out there. Yeah. Ballot omnivore. Looks like we're on track to get Muldratha out this time. I mean, in a perfect world, maybe. Oh, nice. Oh, we're gonna kill that. I think we're paying on the front end for this a little bit. Get that one on the word out there. Boy. Hopefully they don't have another one of those. Now I understand. Mm, not yet. Playing the long game. Just need to keep getting in our lands. You know? One more land and Muldratha is out. What have we got in our... We don't really have anything. I guess we can start maybe... Well, with this bad boy out, both of these are unblockable. He's deep freezing us. Okay. Um, I guess we divest. Uh oh, ooh, wizard retort, turtle. No, we don't gain anything by uh, Yeah, we don't gain anything by attacking in. This one's moving a little slow. One more land. At least we'll have something. But he's got a wizard's retort. Yep. I don't know if we're gonna make it through this. Now's the time. Give me that land. Yeah. We draw a land now, and we'll drop it and come out. Uh, of course not. Freeze my Muldratha. Yeah, I'm going to recover from this one. Yeah, so much for that. Trying to get that wizard to tort out of his hand, maybe? How's that? I think that's it for us, though. Oh well, our first loss kind of took a slow, a slow hand and paid for it slowly. But we will recover. We know the deck can work. Jump right back in the fight. Daughter of Vital. Come on, perfect curve. Perfect curve. Um, not the perfect curve. If I think we got a mulligan this one. Yeah. 
don't really have anything to play on the very slow side. Wow, that's even more, it's even slower. Um, I might keep this anyway. Take the land. At least we can divest something out of his hand early. I'm, I'm such a chicken. So, Fourth of July, Atlanta War Elves. And I think we get the ramp out of the way. Always bolt the bird. Always bolt the bird. Although by taking a crappy hand, we kind of uh, walked right into a giving them an extra turn, basically. Wow. So we can kill that. So we're gonna hold off, let them play there. We'll save that for this big trampling monster. We have slime play. So we'll put, we'll put a demonic vigor on this guy. Are you saying what was that? You want to put two? No, we'll save it. Got a navigator's compass now. I do. I'm gonna hold this for the next that they kill Slimefoot. So I'll hold back. Now he's got first strike and maybe some sort of. Yeah. Um. I'm going to hold off. Keep my dukes up. Okay. We resolve. So let's kill you. Second, what are they running? Uh, so I just see probably enchantments, maybe. So let's put demonic vigor on you and swing in. Can jump block it, it's fine. Because we're kind of playing the long game with slime foot. If we get another land, there we go. Going to scry to the bottom. Okay, that's good. I mean, I guess it's it's not you know great. But...
Yeah. Oh. Um. So. I think we just attack. Try to race. And then we'll pump out a sapperling when they attack in. Hmm. Fires. I guess we slowed him down, right? Yargle. Yeah. So they can come in for seven. Well, the threat of Yargle now is instant death for them, so. We need to get this flyer out here, at least to threaten their flyers. I think we're we're looking okay. We're looking okay. We got we got games we can play. Okay. We got a pump spell. So we're gonna get hit with five nine. 11. Oh, that was sad. <laughs> sad. It's all right. One more to go. <laughs> One more to go. <laughs> Back in the game. Back in the game. New game. I got the old. Who's next? Who rolled up to get pumped up? Divest. Alright. That's a keeper. I'm gonna divest you, turn one. Always disheartening. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and call it that this game's gonna be ours. Uh oh, they're on the Saperlin kick too. But do they have a slime foot? I don't think they do. Slow start. Their Thalid Omnivore is coming. Oh no, what did they got? Get the growth. Yep. At least they don't have the fungal plots or the one that pumps all the fungi. Alright. Let's get a blocker out there. We're gonna take five more damage. Yep. Yuck. Can, can he kick? He can kick. Oh, no, I guess he's not going to. Yeah. At least we'll get a Yargle out there, you know, to say, hey, I don't mind killing you. Mm, no attackers. I think we need to get our dupes up. He's going to eviscerate my Yargle. Oh, these guys don't die. And there's Moldra. How about you? You got a flyer? Because I got a flyer. See, so I think we keep, still keep our defenses up for now. Yeah, we'll keep our defenses up. Maybe, we'll, maybe we can draw into some 
removal. Oh, I'm scoping this out. I like how it flashes that on their screen when they look at your cards and when they look at your graveyard. So I think he's going to pump. So I'm okay with, I think I have to block this. So if, if I pump here, it's just a trade. But if I pump here, it just dies. I think that's the way to go, right? Yeah. I'm all about killing that ballot omnivore. You can sack your other creatures, it's fine. You have to sack everything out there. If you want, you can do that. He's probably realizing that he can't survive this one. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, I think we. Maybe. There. Let's get rid of. Is most. Let's go to combat first. And then we can eviscerate this big guy. Just keep it mean. Keep it mean. <laughs> Can I have my this right back? We'll get Moldrotha. Yeah. Okay, Moldrotha will come out. Hmm. So, what do we do? So, I think what we do is we swing him for five. We chump here, here, and they'll hit us for four. Five, and then we Muldrotha. No, that's not a good one. It doesn't work out, so we'll just pass turn. We can double block Multani, maybe. Or at least we can minimize the damage, get Muldrotha, and keep Ergos, Ergos out there. Yeah. I think we double block, because we get Ergos back. We can get Moldroth out there. They will play Moltani. We can eviscerate. Yeah. I think that's what we gotta do. That's a beautiful thing. I need you to be blue for today. So we can, what do we got over here? We got Divest, Eviscerate, Yargle, and Demonic Vigor. Okay, cool. So we'll Eviscerate, Demonic Vigor. I think we'll just take that. So let's Eviscerate. Can hmm. 
Mm, my tiger is doing terrible. Yardle. I think we got him out. You know, we're holding him off. So we're going to let's pierce. We got seven. We need six for Urigos. So let's pierce here. And cast a creature. Yep, keep our dupes up. Now it's like a uh, whoever draws their their removal first, right? Okay, so let's play. Let's get you out there. At least it gives us a way to get through the, the battlefront there. But that may spur him to attack in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Because we're just going to keep. Yargle is like the. Yargle and Muldrotha together, I think, make a, an awesome wall. Oh, if he puts it back in his hand, please put it back in your hand. Put it back in your hand. Don't slip. Oh. Uh. Yes, reduce the odds that it's... So let's go and attack in and get him to come on, discard at random. And we'll get Yargle back out there. Oh, and we'll combat still. So I think. Combat. Yargle. Coming back at you. Um, so he can kill anything in turn. So let's just. Muldratha versus Flippin' Multani. That thing's a beast. It's gonna be so their Meltani is gonna be ginormous. Just keep swinging with Ergos. Got him on a three turn clock. Okay. God bless you. Um, 
should skip me. Right? No, keep your back. You know, be boss would be to draw a slime for right now. Get that. So we can sack four and get eight, making him an 11 11, gaining two life all the way. All right. Stupid. Stupid. Actually, it might have lured him into a false sense of security. <sighs> now he's up to 13. Done. So we have to do. No, we can do that. We Yargle. Yeah, 14, so that's 12. Let him swing in. Multani. Um, well, I can block that. So we can do, this is like a math problem, the more lands they draw. Okay. Just swing in. Okay. So we need you. We need, not you. We need you, and we need to sack. Okay. Uh, so that's I say that's twelve plus eight. It's twenty. Okay, I think that's enough. That's 16 there. So I think we save it. No, it's 18. Damage. We hit him for 4. We can return it to his hand now if he wants. Well, he's got Mammoth Spider, so we really need some removal. We need removal. Okay, well, Demonic Vigor, you. Um, get you off back out there. I think we need to... So you and 
in the turkey. So working them down slowly, maybe. Well done. Come on. Give me that eviscerate. Give me that eviscerate. super defensive because of that Multani. We're in this OODA loop where, this endless loop where he attacks in, we double and triple block. Multani swing. I think the Multani just has to swing in. It's just, the, it's great removal, but we keep getting our stuff back. Thank goodness. So we get him for five. What's he got? He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven creatures. I have six creatures. Um, hmm. Okay, we'll just swing in with our Ergos. I mean, we're wearing them down, right? Oh. And Multani goes back. Multani goes back. Ooh. All right. What, else, what do we got? Slimefoot? Slimefoot needs to make a, make a show. <laughs> needs to show his face. Slimefoot can get us out of this. Yep. Endless Multani. But Multani is super powerful. It's, um... It says a lot about Muldrotha. Okay, we're back on the defensive. Oh yeah. Yeah. What do we got left? Come on, 13 cards left? He's got four, we're gonna deck him. <laughs> we just gotta keep it going. Gotta keep it going, he's got four fungal pots. Okay, that's not good, because he can make a, a blah ton. He's got a lot of, he's probably got a lot of creatures in there. One, two, three, yeah. We'll just call it a lot. It all comes down to this. Gargle, he's been keeping us alive this entire time. I don't know what they have. It's probably not worth divesting, but I don't want them making any more of those. Okay, um, no attacks. What do they got left? One more card left. We're almost there. They're almost decked. <sighs> We're probably going to swing it hard on this one. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So we need to... This thing do one. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, so... 
I think we go here. I think we go here. Here and here. So that's not enough. So what's getting through? So 16, we're going to block. So we're going to get to life. So it'll be blocking 5, 9, 10, 11, 12. 4 will go through. I think this will help us survive. Yeah. Just barely. Yes! A mighty victory! <laughs> Holy mackerel! That was brutal. I probably could have played that a lot better, but man. Whew. <laughs> that was close. That was pretty close. Where did we win? Watchful Naga. Okay. Alright. We're not doing great, but, you know, at least we, we got two wins in, right? <laughs> Holy mackerel, that was a beast of a fight. But we took down Multani with Muldratha. Say that five times fast. All right, who's next? So I got one, two, I can divest, eviscerate, pierce the sky. I'm... I'm gonna, it's not the fastest hand, but I'm going to keep so I can divest on turn one. Let's see. Oh, slime foot, thank goodness. I just ditched your slime foot. That would have been a vicious death for us. <laughs> no. Muldratha. <laughs> Worth it. Worth it. All right, we need to draw into some lands ASAP. Can you get that guy out there? Okay. Oy, we're not we're not moving very good with the lands here. Of course, we kept the two lander. Didn't keep the, the fastest hand, but totally worth it to get slime put out of their hands because we know how powerful that is. Yeah, not that not that we're suddenly gonna survive. I think we gotta. Okay. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> I can really use a land. I don't think they're going to have any storm. Yep, there they go. Can't be blocked if you cast a historic this turn. We'll take our beat. And we'll make a make a sapperly. Alright, that's better. <laughs> mm, slow. Slow hand. But we asked for it. Yeah, we'll take it. Uh, yeah. Now it on the board. I kind of hope they. Oh crap! I meant to attack. But whatever. 
I guess blocking too, but he's going to Vicious Offering. Kick it by sacking one of these guys or whatever sapperling he can do. Is that that's instant? Mm. Let's see if it resolves. I'm just going to cast it in there. But it's a math problem, I know. It's like, he's thinking about sacking, yeah, sacking the Relic Runner. That resolves. We get it back. And then we cast it again. So, let's see if we're high in the hand. Okay, so we've got three lands. Whatever land it is. I think this this one might be the most threatening one. You know, I'll, I'll hold on to eviscerate. He's got some. He's getting mana screwed right now, which. It's unfortunate, but I can kill the flyer. Cost one less. Okay. Yeah, we don't have any. Oh, my thorn element. Yeah. yeah. Nargle. I think we're on the upside of this. Deep froze my Yargle. It's okay. We do have enchantment removal, so it comes along. We'll, we'll free up the Yargle. Just keep swinging in. I mean, we're, I mean, I think we're doing okay. Thank you. Okay. There's a little. So I'm send my. Okay. And then he gave me a, chunk, a blocker, an endless blocker. Hello, Ergos, the empty one. So they're going to play their flyer. If they get another land, no attackers. And then we will pierce the sky. Pardon me while I pierce the sky. There we go. Beautiful. I'm going to put in the graveyard. So we're going to pierce the sky. We get to draw a card off of Earth Ghost. Combat. Oh, attack. Pretty good. We'll play this one next, and that'll help bump up our buffer. Okay. Yep. Let's go with. So we'll swing in. Let's 
this guy, right? So, uh, okay. He's bumped, he gains some life. We kill them both. And we win! Oh my goodness! The vicious onslaught! Get back. Took a couple early early losses. But we're coming back. What's next? Just keep it going. We're not going to stop. Yes, yes, and yes. The turn one divest is my is my thing now. Wow. Fit charge, Phyrexian scriptures. So they have a board wipe on turn four. You gotta get them invested in the battlefield. Maybe we can lure them out. Yeah. Maybe we lure them out with um, fungal plots. Actually, no. Let's learn that with it. Bad man. We're gonna is that horror creature? Yeah. I'm gonna hold off. Until he wipes the board. Hopefully he'll block and pump. So he has a monster on his turn. Right. Something. Mm -hmm. So, I think I'm going to attack in.
Like, I'm trying to pump, pump up my life a little bit. Yeah, I just want to suck. And I'm going to take 12 damage. So I want to get my wife back up to 20. That was a good little combo there. And he's got a pump spell right there. If I don't draw any eviscerate, I am. Or, yeah, I'll be chump blocking. This might be our last game. This might be our last game. Yeah. I'm gonna need gonna need some more uh, chump bait here. He's low on flyers, but he's got a freaking monster. I gotta hit him three times. So he's gonna get through, he's gonna pump it and get that's four, five, six damage through. Any damage. Double pump. Worthy adversary, you have defeated me, but I shall return. Oh, Gotta save the game. And that was it. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the game. It was fun. We claim our prize. We're going to go open these packs now. Let's see what we got. And more Yargles. I'm loving me some Yargles. And, okay, that's cool, I guess. Uh, nice. Nice. Well, awesome, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, be sure to check out Chuck Wagon MTG, uh, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. You can find him everywhere. Uh, he is the he is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Uh, if you're in Michigan and you play Magic, that's a, one of the best options out there for you. So thanks for joining. Uh, it was good, good playing. Uh, we'll do it again soon. Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.